Well, welcome to the All Saints Anglican Network. My name is James Hornby. I'm the lead minister, and it's my great privilege to bring you uh, the people of All Saints an update uh, as to our vision uh, in December 2020 and how things are looking as we peek over the horizon to 2021. Some of us are doing more than peeking out. We, we can't wait for this year to be finished, but we have so much to be thankful for. I hope uh, wherever you worshipped in the last week or so, whether it was at All Saints North or All Saints Georgetown, Southeast, City, or even online, that you were able to participate in a Thanksgiving service and hear of some of the great things that God has been doing in our church. And I hope that your own testimony, your own experience of the last 12 months, no matter how difficult or strange or unusual or challenging or exciting it's been, that you too can see how God has been at work in your life. Well, as we prepare for 2021, there's a few things that uh, I want to remind us of, a few things that haven't changed, and, and we'll hear them again uh, throughout the course of next year. The first thing is who we are, our identity. We are the All Saints Anglican Network, a network of churches committed to making disciples of Jesus. That's who we are. And what we're on about, our purpose is in helping people live life well together in Jesus. We want to help you live life well as a follower of Jesus. Uh, in the All Saints Network, at the beginning of the year in February 2020, we had the bishop with us as we gathered as one church uh, from all our different locations to dedicate the year to God. You probably won't remember, but Richard Condy, our bishop, spoke on the supremacy of Jesus Christ. And I spoke about our vision and our values and what we hoped to achieve under God and who I hoped God might shape us to become. And in that, we had five values, five values that I hope shape who we are as, as the Church of Christ here in the All Saints Network. Do you remember them? The first was grace, that we might be a people of grace, people who have experienced and received the grace of Jesus, and so give that grace and express that grace towards other people. Uh, secondly, that we might be a church that is unified, that we might have great unity, together, whether it's unity within our congregations or unity as a network across our congregations, that we would be unified as brothers and sisters in Jesus, serving the same Lord with the same goal, that is to, to be people who are given over to worship and mission. Our third value is that we might be uh, people who express authenticity, so that we might bridge the gap between the me that you see and the me that I am, that they might become more and more under the Lord Jesus, one and the same thing. That we'd be authentic in our relationships with each other, with those in our community. Uh, our fourth value is that we might be people who are intentional, that intentionality would mark us, that we wouldn't be people aimlessly beating the air but rather, sure of our purpose in Christ Jesus, we will be pursuing the good works that God has planned and prepared in advance for us to do. And finally, fifthly, one of the things that we want to characterize the people of all saints would be people who are disciples of Jesus, who express that discipleship through courageous obedience. Uh, we want to be people who hear Jesus' words and obey, and sometimes that will require courage. But as we've heard recently in our sermon series, we will obey God rather than man, that we might be so in love with Jesus and so devoted to him that we would obey him no matter the cost. There are five values, 
And as we head into 2021, we're going to explore more deeply what it looks like as people and as all saints to be shaped by those five values in our discipleship. Well, that's all very well and good. We're a network of churches making disciples of Jesus. We want to help people live life well together in Jesus. But James, what does that look like? What does that mean? Well, it means that we structure our lives in three particular ways. Firstly, that the main thing that we're on about in the All Saints Network is our connect groups. That we want as many people as possible meeting regularly in homes and in halls and in parks and in churches and wherever it might be, building relationships with one another, uh, exploring what God has to say in his word together and encouraging one another and building one another up in our discipleship. And we think connect groups are the very best way to do that. We want connect groups to be the main thing at All Saints. If you haven't been in a connect group this year, maybe next year's the year. Maybe your circumstances have changed. Maybe you're able to join a connect group and you haven't yet been able to. Let me encourage you to do that. There's been so many great stories uh, about how God has been at work in our connect groups. I've seen testimonies written and I've heard testimonies spoken of just how God has been transforming people because we've been committed to meeting together around his word in fellowship. Secondly, we believe our vision to help people live life well together in Jesus will be realized through our community groups. Over the last 18 months, two years, we've really slowly begun to introduce the idea of community groups. And our community groups have met uh, a couple of times this year. Uh, next year, we're going to work more diligently to help you understand uh, the vision that we have for community groups and to help equip you to be able to gather as mid-sized groups of people that are engaging and evangelistic and uh, community-minded uh, and provide avenues by which friends and neighbors might be uh, invited into relationship with other Christians. Uh, thirdly, we want to see uh, our vision for the All Saints Network lived out and expressed in transformative services of worship. The diocesan vision is to be a church for Tasmania making disciples of Jesus. And one of their key values is that our churches might be a place of transformative worship. That's certainly our hope and expectation here at All Saints, that our gatherings, whether they happen on a Sunday morning or a Sunday evening, that they'll be places where uh, through song, uh, through the reading of the word, through prayer, through the preaching of God's word, uh, the power of God is at work transforming us by the Holy Spirit equipping us and preparing us to go out into the world. As we prepare for 2021, let me remind you that there are three key principles as the All Saints Anglican Network, as a multi-church network that govern how we are structured as a network. And those three words are representation, replication, and innovation. What that means, quite simply, is uh, with respect to representation, there will be some things that we do and we do to the best of our ability and we do them once. An example of this would be youth group. We have one youth group, not four, and that youth group is a youth ministry for All Saints Network. So we're going to have one youth group. We have one men's ministry. There's multiple groups of men that, that meet and they encourage one another across our different sites. We have one women's ministry. We have one governance structure, one parish or network council. The second word is replication. And that just simply means that there'll be some things that we do across all our sites. So wherever you go in the All Saints network, you could expect this to be true. That includes our vision, for example. We don't have 
multiple visions across our multiple sites. We have one vision. That also includes our teaching program. Some parts of our teaching program will be true of all sites, just as you did recently with submission or we have with other series. The third word is innovation. And what that represents is the understanding and acknowledgement that every site is different. Every site meets in a different place. Every site is made up of different people, has a slightly different cultural context, slightly different ways of doing things, and that's okay. We're not looking to cut cookies, we're looking to make disciples. And because each one of us is unique and different, that means every one of our sites in some way will be different. And so we are looking for our sites to be innovative, to think about what difference they can make in their particular community, what it looks like to live out the gospel in Georgetown or Southeast or, or North or at City might be different or will be different in some, to some degree from each site.